America. So keep a focus on Michigan State's ability to keep the basketball in the middle of the floor. All right, Coach, thank you. You might remember the story of North Dakota State. Back on March the 20th, the Bison played in their first ever NCAA Division I tournament game. But the celebration of a fairy tale season ended quickly when the team returned home to Fargo, where the Red River has been rising ominously. You can see the, the tree line right there, and that's where it's all come over, and then it's rushing, rushing over it in this road. I don't know how far exactly it goes, goes on, but for a little ways, and, or what road, I should say. You know, the scary part about it is, as bad as this is, you don't know how bad it's truly going to be. In 1997, the people of Fargo thought they'd seen the worst the Red River could deliver. Punishing downtown and reestablishing levees 43 feet above ground level. Today, the river's raging wrath has put even that mark in jeopardy. Well, we were all kind of lost in the excitement down in Minneapolis with the first, first round of the tournament. And you start watching the Minneapolis news and you see Fargo, North Dakota making it. Um, you know, just to see the, how quickly everything developed was really the scary part. A bad forecast grew worse. 1,700 guardsmen joined an entire city ready to evacuate its vulnerable population and then bunkered down to save its community. 10 p.m. at night, waiting outside of Harvard, they were just volunteer to volunteer. They didn't have enough buses to get the volunteers where they had to go. You think the, the good with the bad, the bad obviously is the plenty, but the, the good that comes out of it is knowing that everybody's got each other's back up here, and that's a pretty big deal. Us players decided yesterday, you know, we want to go and help out since we didn't have school, and then uh, today we decided to get the whole team out here with the coaching staff and do our part and help out. It's my first day out here, and uh, it's pretty bad out here. I was surprised how bad it was. I think we estimated about 12,000 bags per house. That's kind of what typically happens. So. Not a lot. Man. It's, it's pretty special. They're, they're local celebrities, that. So it's uh, it's a big thing. It's just quick work or something that would have taken us a couple of days to do. It means a lot. Austin Panic in the black hat. black hat right here is a redshirt junior for us. And the other guy next to him is Caleb Shockman. Caleb's a, a North Dakota boy himself. That's Andy Nagel. Andy sandbagged for 14 hours yesterday. Just uh, building the wall here, going three in the bottom, two in the middle, one on the top. Prevent the water from getting up into the houses. So great way for us to give back to the community for everything they've done for us. And, uh, you know, just, just help out with all these families that you know desperately need it. Give them back. As of this afternoon, the city continues to boldly deliver its fight against the Red River and demonstrate to us all the ultimate team effort. The city needs us right now to help them. So yeah, I, I don't think we're doing anything out of the ordinary or heroic. We're doing what a good group of citizens does at this time. It's just the way it works. The latest word from Fargo is hopeful. River levels are expected to remain below 41 feet and begin decreasing over the next three to seven days. And if you'd like to donate $5 to the American Red Cross in support of the disaster relief effort, text the word GIVE to 24357. Three cheers to the Bison team for helping out. And every once in a while, a little reality check injects itself into the NCAA tournament picture. Yeah, and I just think back to that visual of uh, when North Dakota made the, uh, the, the tournament on our selection show and you had that huge celebration. And similar to the piece we had earlier about Michigan State bringing hope to the uh, community of Detroit, the relationship between a team and the community really comes through when something like this happens. And that's what I love most, the sense of community that you find. Everyone feels it's a response responsibility to go out and really provide leadership and also volunteerism, which I think is really important. I find and take a great deal of pride in that and kudos to them and their university. Yeah, they say we're not heroes, we disagree. Still ahead on the road to the final four. Hashim Tabi has made the journey